Okay, this one's a problem because it's not in the proper form. So what I'm going to do is make a substitution here, and a substitution that we've, we've done a long time ago. All right, so I'm going to outline what the substitution is. If we have a cubic of this form, we can rewrite it in this form by making this substitution over here. So I want to go through that with you. And again, we've done this in the past, by the way, but you may not be able to recall it. X equals, what's it going to equal? It's going to equal Y minus, well, P1. Well, P1 in this particular example is going to be 6, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. Let me go to that substitution, by the way. So what are you going to get? You can get Y minus 2 cubed plus 6, Y minus 2 squared minus y minus 2 minus 1 equals 0. Well, let's just go through it. And why don't you go through it, carefully go through it, to make sure that we get something that we're looking forward to seeing. So what are you going to go over here? You're going to get y cubed. Let's see, minus, well, you know, maybe I should put my, I'll, I'll actually write in steps. 3y squared minus 2 plus 3y minus 2 squared plus minus 2 cubed. I just did this thing. Let's do the next one. And again, we got to pull it all together, by the way. It's 6 y squared minus 4y plus 4. Then what do you get? You get minus y plus 2 minus 1 equals 0. Well, again, I'm, I'm going to go through it. I'll write, I'll write down what I'm seeing. I'm seeing y cubed. That's right here. Now let's see if we can do the squares. And what do I get? I get uh, minus six um, y squared and plus six y squared, which would be no uh, y squareds. So this disappears, the, the squares disappear. Let's keep going. And what do you get next? Again, I'm getting dizzy looking at this. I'm going to do the y's next. That's going to be 12 and minus 24. So uh, plus 12y. Let me make sure I'm doing it again. Uh, 12 minus, tw oh, I'm sorry, minus 13y's. And let me keep looking. looking for, look at the number now. Minus 8 minus 1. Minus, I'm sorry, minus 8 minus 1 is minus 9. And then there's going to be 24. Uh, let's see, 24 minus 9. Let me see if I did that right. Minus 8 minus 9 plus 24. Let's see, minus 8. Oh, there's another 2 there, too. I'm sorry, 26. Hey, like I said, I'm getting dizzy. And that's going to be, what, 17. equals zero. I depressed it. I, I don't want you to forget, though, this is what I need to come back to. I don't really need the Y. And then the question is, how do you do that? Well, is it of the proper form? It is. And you can identify the A now. What's the, whoops, sorry about that. What's the A for this one over here? It's minus 13. What's the B? The B is minus 17. All right, so I, I want to, um, oh, by the way, it's written over here. So this is good news. We got the, we got the depressed form over here. This is good news. Let's see if I got the A. A is being 13. Oh, I'm sorry. Another mistake. I am so sorry. I got to erase that. The A is 13 and the B is minus 17. So I got that written over here. And then you, you write down the R cosine. And again, it, I, I don't even think writing the number down is important. But, but there is a number Z. And what do you get? Minus 17 over 2. Right? That's the B, by the way. Again, the B was minus 17 over 2. And that's going to be 27 over the 13 uh, cubed. By the way, I don't think cubing the 13 is a good idea, but I guess I did do it there. Right? And then what you do, you get the roots. Y1, Y2, Y3. What's it going to be? It's going to be, uh, look at the formula, it's 2, A over 3, the root of it, 2, A over 3, A over 3 the root of that. You get the idea. And cosine of z, cosine 2 pi plus uh, z3, you get the idea. I compute those numbers. Now, I, I know it's exhausting. What you need to do now is you need to get the x. So someone says, what's the x? Well, we found the y's. So what's the x going to be? y minus 2. 
So what you have to do is take each of these numbers and subtract two from it, all right? What would that give you? It would give you this number here, then this minus six point something. Of course, this would be zero point something. And minus two from that, you know, it's gonna be minus uh, a decimal, certainly, minus point something, zero point something. So that seems reasonable. Um, again, looking back at the picture, I wanna go back to the picture for you. And I'm seeing minus six point something. That's right here. Let's keep going back to picture. I see minus about, I don't know, about minus 0.3, I guess. I see that here. And then it's over here, you know, roughly about a half. I'm seeing that right about over here, all right? Now, barring those errors I was making in my thinking, I actually have a headache. That's one of my excuses. Um, this thing here was not in proper form. I had to get into proper form by making the following substitution that we've been doing for a while. Then I figure out the roots for that y equation, but then I have to go back to the x's, and I did that by using the original transformation to do it. All right? Thank you.